accessible van life. Don't those words sound glorious? You've got mobility issues at because you can't find a motorhome or a class B or a travel van or a trailer that's going to suit your specific needs. Maybe I can share some ideas with you that might help. Hi, I'm Denise and this is Travels in My Chair. Thanks for joining me today as we try to explore a little bit of the intricacies of trying to find a wheelchair accessible RV so that you can take a road trip this year if that's what you want to do. The first thing that you have to remember is that you have an RV and if you're using a walker or a wheelchair the doors of that RV are going to be too narrow but if you have say let's just say a class B or a travel van with a sliding door and if it's arranged properly so that the kitchen isn't blocking half that door then that would be fine because then you can get the door open wide enough to get your wheelchair in. Now one thing that's available now that wasn't available when Alan and I first started looking for a vehicle is Braun Ability now makes an under vehicle lift or a UVL. Thinking of doing a raised roof van to fit your needs into a motorhome type of idea, this UVL might be just the answer for you. It works on a remote and it slides underneath the vehicle. So if you've got tanks and stuff near the door under the vehicle or your vehicle sits too low to the ground, it might not be an option. Within my search, I did find one YouTube channel that might be worth you checking out. The channel is called Van Life Voyages and they have just installed an under vehicle lift and so if you want to see one in action maybe after you finish watching this tune into their channel just so that you can see how it works on a remote it's pretty nifty and it really allows you to have more room inside your vehicle which is so important when you're traveling in a small vehicle and you have a wheelchair to boot. The other thing I found yesterday while I was cruising YouTube was a YouTube channel called Nomad Brad and he's in Oregon and he has just converted a small shuttle bus for a lady that uses a walker. If you're looking for a used RV and if you live in Canada it's really difficult. However, if you live in the States or even in Canada once you know the borders open between the States and Canada there is a website called rvproperty.com and within that website they have a whole section of special needs RVs. One thing I should maybe mention here is if you are looking for an RV in the States, their rules are perhaps different than our rules in Canada. For instance, if that vehicle has had flood damage or hurricane damage in one state and then sold and bought into another state and fixed up, that could be a problem because you, the consumer, will maybe never know. The other thing is don't send money randomly to somebody to hold a vehicle for you when you've never seen the vehicle. Let me give you an example. Years ago when I was selling vehicles, I had a customer 
who wanted a specific vehicle, even the color. He wanted a black pickup. And we couldn't find anything within his budget. So he said, well, I'm going to go to town and find one in town. Like, oh, well, what can you do if we don't have what you want? So off he went. And about a week later, he came back with a big grin on his face. And he drove in and he had the most shiniest black truck, brand new tires. And wow, I said, wow, you really got a beautiful truck. Did you get it for the price? Oh, yeah, I got it for even under my budget. And the sales manager came out and we were admiring the truck. And then the customer said, yeah, and they even threw in the undercoating and rust proofing for nothing. And all of a sudden, the hair stood up on my neck. The manager said, pop the hood. Inside, he kind of poked around, never said anything. Then he sa said to the customer, let's just take the back seat and fold it up. And just because it had a rubber floor. And let's just see, check it out. And this is what he found. Corrosion. All the screws were rusty. The engine had been steam cleaned, but in some really tucked out of the way places, you could see the corrosion and the truck wasn't all that old. This truck's been in the ocean. This truck's been underwater. And he started looking at it closely. Looking at the fact that the paint was awfully brand new and shiny and all the screws inside the vehicle were, were rusty. And I'm only telling you this because how would you have even known if you had been looking for a truck that day, you would have been dazzled by the glamour of how the shine of the paint and the chrome of the wheels and how beautiful it looked. And you would have never bothered to see the rusty screws. Not the same with if you're looking for an RV and you go down to the States and they maybe don't have the same rules. And I'm not saying they do and I'm not saying they don't, but maybe. And you don't know if that vehicle has ever been totaled or if that vehicle has been in a flood. And wouldn't it be horrible if you got it all the way home and discovered it had issues? Like electrical. As it turned out, my customer's truck was having odd little electrical problems that he could never figure out. The other thing that's hard to find is an RV rental that's wheelchair accessible. And it's frustrating. I was looking last night before I decided to make this video because I thought, gosh, there's got to be some somewhere. And the only ones that can consistently came up, in Canada anyway, unfortunately both on the west coast, Fraser Way RV has a 31 foot Class A. It sleeps four or five, has four seat belts. It's got a lift a roll-in shower. So if you want to enjoy a couple of weeks holiday, which will be expensive, maybe give it a try. I guess what I'm saying to you is don't give up. Alan and I didn't give up. After a three year search, we found our 2002 leisure travel van with a lift. It's not perfect. It's getting older. We'd like something newer. We'd like something just a smidge bigger that had a tiny bit bigger of a bed. 
but it works for us. And that brings me again to the shuttle bus idea, because a little shuttle bus or a small school bus that has low kilometers on it, they usually come with a lift, and that lift is either at the back or the back side. What? And you'd have to be a bit creative for the sleeping arrangements because that's taking up a real hunk of your living area. And perhaps a bed, a bath, a toilet, a simple kitchen is all you need. In which case, if you know somebody that's handy, they could make one for you. Just be careful. And remember, if you're going to buy a shuttle bus, a used RV, or even if you're going to buy a raised roof van and put a porta potty and a bed in it so that you can get around and do a bit of camping in the summer and have it thoroughly checked out. Because if you're mobility challenged like I am, you don't have that option. If you break down at the side of the road, you're pretty much stuck. And it's happened to me. I just don't want it to happen to you. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I really hope that some of these tips will help you as you search for an accessible motorhome or van whatever, or shuttle bus, whatever works for you. See you in a couple of weeks. Bye for now.